Hey everyone, I'm Captain Ricky Wheeler and I've been getting asked a lot about how I've been getting my underwater dredge can shots. Uh, it really is so simple to do and it produces some of the most amazing shots you'll ever get. Having a marlin or a mahi in your dredge trying to eat the baits, pretty amazing at that eye to eye shot. So it's as easy as going out and getting one of these. Get yourself a Troll Pro. Uh, you can get them at trollpro.com. I think they're right around 150 bucks. And I've seen people try to replicate these. The problem is uh, when people try to do them, they don't uh, keel weight them right, so the shots get kind of wobbly. Where the Troll Pro is just, it's a steady shot every time. So it's worth 150 bucks. That's why I got it. And your shot's going to be perfect. So go out and get one of these, and then you can put your GoPro right in it, and you'll get some amazing dredge cam shots. So I'll show you how to set it up right now. All right, so we start with the Troll Pro, and you got to get your camera on it. So this is your bolt, and this is your Allen key to put the bolt right in. You go right through that hole right there. Slip that bolt right in. After you slip this right in place, and the tricky part is just getting this lined up so the bolt will go right in. So you got to play with it a little bit, but once you get it, you're good to go. So anyway, you slip that on, put your bolt in, and then just turn it on, and you're ready to rock and roll. Alright, so there's a couple ways you can pull your Troll Pro. Now that you're set up with your GoPro, everything's ready to go. Um, first and foremost, make sure it's flashing red before you drop it in the water. Otherwise, you're not getting any shots. Don't laugh, because a lot of people forget that. But anyway, one way you can do it is you can make your own leash. I usually do like three or 400 pound mono, and make it like 25 to 30 feet, just enough so the Troll Pro is just in front of that first flat line, so you can get a really awesome shot of it getting bit. Um, you can do that and you connect it, usually I connect it to something like a Wahoo weight, 48 ounces or 64 ounces, and you just clip this right to the front of your Troll Pro, and you're all set and ready to go. And you just connect this front end to the leash, or you can use like a bent butt with a 50 wide on it with heavier line or 80 wide or 130, what have you. So that way you can reel it in or adjust it, put it wherever you want to spread. That's another really cool way to get some awesome shots. I'm um, going to try to get some teaser bite shots that way too this year. So that's a little trick that you can do. But most of the time I'm just trying to get dredge cam shots. And what I've created is this leash on cable with two snaps. And that's all it is. It's about six inches long from tip to tip. And that gets it back, the troll pro back just enough so all you see are the tails flickering on the back tier of your dredge. So here's your double dredge. Alright, so you have the first tier, and you have the leash that connects the second tier. And what you're going to do is you're going to connect this leash to the back of the second tier. So your Troll Pro is riding right in the middle, and then you just connect your Troll Pro housing right to it. So there you go. There's your Troll Pro, set and ready to go. So it's sitting right in the back, and because it's keel weighted, it'll ride right no matter which way the dredges turn and you're going to get that amazing shot. So subscribe to my channel, Captain Ricky Wheeler. I'll have more instructional videos coming to you on how to rig up dredges and also plenty more saltwater fishing actions. So subscribe and stay tuned. Catch you on the next one.